two, and what's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. How's everybody doing today? It is great to see your beautiful faces. Doing hey, great. What's up? Doing great. Team. Excellent. We got a full house here. We got Saeed on the call. Saeed, welcome. How are you, sir? Thank you. Great. I cannot complain. <laughs> excellent. Excellent. Dr. Tim, Dr. Lee, Dr. Ashley, and Dr. Annie. So as always, as always, I think we should start off with uh, Dr. Annie, maybe our clinic updates and just kind of progress where we are with things, any of you know, new news, uh, words of encouragement that is around the clinic. And then we can go uh, into our corn tips and updates with the rest of the team. All right. Well, hey, everybody. So a lot of people don't realize that chiropractic is an essential service here in Washington State. We have not ever closed during this pandemic. Head to Toe has been open the whole time. Um, we really made a commitment as a team to stay open and to be here to serve people who, who need us. And we are experts in musculoskeletal care. That's what we do. We analyze movement. We work on uh, knees, hips, low backs, ankles, wrists, elbows, um, whatever musculoskeletal complaint that someone may be um, having. That is our, that's our, that's our area. And we're just hundred percent percent committed to being here. And I think we've come to the realization. A lot of people think that we're closed and guess what? We're open. We're open. We're following all guidelines in regards to personal protection uh, for ourselves um, and for our patients. Our clinic has always been extremely well cared for and clean environment. We're deep cleaning, we're sanitizing, and we're practicing social distancing here in the clinic. Our clinic is big, so we're very able to keep people separated as we as we care for them. So once again, we're open, caring for musculoskeletal complaints, and just super happy to be here. Uh, another update is telehealth, and actually Dr. Tim is seeing our first telehealth patient this week, which is really, really exciting. And I think for a lot of people, like think, how can chiropractors provide telehealth? But because we do movement as part of our paradigm and rehab is one of our big tools, we're really able to, to watch you move, um, to see how you're doing your exercises and to help you progress through areas where you're stuck. So since exercises are a big part of what we do to get people better, this is a great tool for us. So we're really excited to roll it out and excited to see how our first session goes. I love it. Yeah, I think there's a lot of benefit to a telehealth visit, depending on what a person's dealing with. I think it's a no brainer because we're not just a chiropractic. It's like, well, how are you going to do an adjustment on the telephone? Well, yeah, that that's not going to happen. We're not going to do a manual adjustment on the phone or on a Zoom call or a telehealth call. But what we can do is we can do movement analysis. We can do we can do self release prescription. We can you know analyze what a person's doing, not doing, kind of get a glimpse into their what's happening from a movement standpoint, patterning standpoint, and then prescribe a variety of different release techniques and movement techniques uh, and strengthening techniques potentially as well to help with those situations. So for me, it's a I, it makes a lot of sense. I'm really excited that we're offering it, and I think it's great moving forward to have that option for people. Well, yeah, you know, I don't know if you uh, noticed my amazing posture. Uh, right now, you can't really see it, but it looks better than it did before. I, I feel um, inches taller. Um, I have a, a prouder chest. My shoulders are back more than they were. I've been doing a lot of computer work, but I just went through a half an hour with Dr. Lee and Dr. Tim. Um, they were teaching me some basic paradigms of lengthening my core, um, really a, doing some functional patterning work, um, the very first steps of it. Uh, as part of our teaching, and I just feel fabulous. And they, neither of them had to to touch me. It was all visual. You know, they watched my setup, watched my posture, made their corrections. Uh, again, the language is very clear, very easy to follow. I could have been in my living room doing that and getting this amazing benefit for my back uh, without having come into the to come into the clinic. So, for for patients who are you know concerned about leaving their home and and who are immunocompromised. This is just a really great opportunity to get some some really valuable care. I totally agree. I totally agree. Awesome update. Thank you so much. And let's kick it over to Dr. Lee to get his corn tips, updates, words of encouragement, inspiration, insights, ideas, happenings for the week. Dr. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this week, uh, especially yesterday, I was talking to Dr. Andy. I actually visited the beach. I went by myself, but it was it was glorious. It was a super sunny day. Found a nice little spot off in some cove that was protected from the wind and just had the sun shining on me and just laid in the sand. Uh, and it made me think about it more. I mean, there's a lot of um, people that are starting to be more uh, myohackers, they call it. So myohackers like mitochondria uh, or biohacking. So what those people do is essentially they're just trying to quantify their, their feeling. They're trying to make themselves uh, as good as possible. So um, part of that stuff is just exposing yourself to sunlight during opportune times of the day, like sunset and sunrise. So that's when you get the most infrared energy from the sun. So it will definitely recharge you. Um, can give you a little bit more clarity in your in your whole mind as, as well, and also just make you feel good. I mean, I don't, I've never met anybody who hasn't actually liked laying in the sand in the sun. So that in of itself was very just rejuvenating for me, and just kind of reset my whole mental and made me feel just better overall. So little things like that, just spending time out in the sun, even if it's by yourself, are massive, especially right now. I think that nature bathing is absolutely essential right now that whole thing of getting out and getting some sunshine and fresh air and whether that's on the beach and just getting just pulverized by those positive ions or whether that's in the forest with the trees whispering into your ear and soul you know whatever it is like you got to get the nature in right now it is super rejuvenating even today i was i had to go out before this call for a little thing and i opened the sunroof well, put all the windows down in the car and just cranked some blister in the sun, some violent fans. And it was awesome. It made me feel so good. It was exactly like you, you going to the beach. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we like to use light in the office. We use the infrared. We use the laser. Um, that's really helpful. There's a lot of good science coming out about UV light and how effective it is for um, just helping us feel better overall. It, it, it makes us, uh, it, well, it helps us create vitamin D in our, in our body. And, uh, there's potential that it could also help with infection. So there's a lot of good research that's coming out right now about light. Um, and I, I would encourage anybody to read into it just to get more informed. Yeah. Some people are even going so far as to kind of build like a, have a light room or a big light box to kind of get blasted with that at home. And that certainly would be cool if you could get something like that together. Absolutely. An infrared sauna, like you get the heat, so you get the benefit from the warmth. And then the, the different wavelengths of the infrared light are known to affect our body cells in different ways. They can do things as, uh, as important as help us create more ATP, which is, if you remember biology in fourth and fifth grade, that is what we use for energy in the cell and in the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. So a lot of good things from light. and You should definitely not be only staying inside. If you can distance outside, it's more beneficial for you to be in the sunlight than to be, I guess, quarantined in your home, especially if you're not sick. Yeah, it's really easy to get drained. You're sitting in front of the computer and having this kind of artificial light just be blasting you all day long. Um, and then what are you doing at night? You know, sitting on the couch watching Netflix or whatever. And it, it just can be super draining. You cannot, you just kind of feel gross. And yeah. I, I think to your point, it does feel so good. Even like put some chairs out in your yard and go sit outside during, periodically during the day. Yeah. I mean, I've done the smallest thing I did was move my grill from my garage to my back patio. So that was alone, just a great step for me to get out in the sun a little bit more. I love it, man. Super, super great tip. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Let's kick it over to Saeed and get, the update, insight, ideas, encouragement, something cool happening in your world that you want to share with us, this well, week, like, Saeed. Yep. Um, thank you. Um, as always, I said when I was seeing patients, uh, if we take a routine, like five minutes, I told my advice to my patients, like if, if you take five minutes from your time, daily, five minutes, and become a habit, just wake up in the morning, copy from your dog, from your cat, just a stretch natural and once you create that routine you just it become habit and you don't feel the laziness you, you talked about you know it's really easy to find excuse i have to do this i have to do this and i have to do that at the end of the day it's like oh my gosh i couldn't barely move but actually what it takes is five minutes it just you know you have your routine it become a new schedule you start with your neck, you start, and Dr. Annie, like you said, you know, with the posture, just correction, couple minimum tricks, you know, you feel a couple inches, you know, taller, and it's like, wow, I can readjust my car mirror because that five minutes. 
And that's why my advice to my people is like, you wake up, you have your routine, you have your stretches. You can go to the sun if you have a time. It, you make a time because, it's, you know, we have a lot of time. <laughs> and I think you feel great. And of course, we are here for advice and you're not sure about something, you know, thanks to technology, we can show you via, uh, you know, telehealth like Dr. Tim did. And it's it's a great idea just to, hey, I don't know how to stretch my calf. I don't know how to stretch. Is that right? Is that wrong? Yeah, just give us a call and we'll be happy to answer those questions. And, you know, um, you know, we have available that's at dr anis like we're here i mean either from further or from close and um you know minimal things you just start with it that's my advice i think that's such great advice that little bit of movement first thing in the morning can absolutely change your state too you know it's like so much of our emotional state is tied into our physical state and we don't really think about it so when we're kind of stiff and achy and and kind of crunchy feeling that it makes it hard to be more, you know, our energy is lower, our outlook's lower in a simple thing, like Absolutely. a few minutes of stretching, some breathing, getting some oxygen in it. All of a sudden it's amazing how much you feel uplifted from that. Your energy comes up, you know, it's like hope springs again, Absolutely. you know, it's like, okay. And it just, then it cascades through your whole day. It's just all a little bit better. Right. Well, like, 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 like a dentist, like, you know, you don't brush your teeth before you see the dentist. You know, you brush your teeth daily. You know, it's kind of like, like you care about your teeth. It's the same thing as the body. Every day, five minutes. You know, if you have extra time, I would another five minutes. It will be 10 minutes. It's, it's like I said, the, the teeth are not, br are not shiny because you brushed them today. They're shiny because you brushed them many years, many days. You know, for the, the last the doctor, they said three minutes, brush your teeth. And I'll ask you five minutes. Just stretch that neck when you wake up. You know, that posture correction. And like I said, you know, give us a call if you have a question. You know, I have this and I have this. We're here to help. That's fantastic. Start. Excellent. So good, Saeed. Thank you so much. All right. Let's get over to hear from Dr. Tim um, for your corn tips for the week. And uh, good, good news going on in your world. Yeah, break it down for us, my man. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I think... Lee definitely touched on a little bit of what I was going to say initially, which was kind of getting outside, especially now that things are getting warmer outside, more sunlight. Just for like myself and my wife and I, like getting out and going on a walk most days since we've had a little bit more time, like trying to find a trail that's nearby, like you were saying, getting to the trees and everything like that. So massive. Just like I remember like, you know, some days just, you know, maybe not your best day, like feeling kind of down. There's a lot of like stuff going on in our society right now. Getting outside, getting your mind to clear out is huge. So and then on top of that, one of the things I wanted to talk about also is nutrition. And I know that we've kind of touched on this a little bit before, but the reason I wanted to bring this up is because I've been seeing a lot of times driving around to the grocery stores or wherever else, the fast food restaurants are popping right now. Like mm. every time you drive by those, there's a long line all the way around, especially like driving down 76 here, you go by Burger King, Dairy Queen, there's just a long line. Like honestly, at any time of the day that I drive by, it seems like that. So really, I feel like what I wanted to say, like most people is like, you know, now is a great time that we have more time on our hands and the grocery stores, you know, they're stocked, you're able to go get good food there is to really emphasize the point of like getting good food and getting good nutrients in, and how much not only that's going to do for you physically, but what that's going to do for you mentally as well. Like, you know, and I think that for a lot of people, it's easy to kind of fall into that rhythm of like, you know, I don't really want to make something you've been sitting at home all day or anything like that. So you're just going to go for the easy option. But I just want to kind of implore people to like, you know, maybe take that extra step, try out something new, maybe, you know, try cooking something new or going picking something up from a store that's even healthier than going to a fast food restaurant in the first place as well. So that's kind of like my tip for people is like, I know that that's a hard shift to make sometimes and it's not an easy time to do it as well. But especially with a lot of people staying at home a lot more, I feel like finding that balance between, you know, getting some good nutrition in and getting outside all of those sorts of things that can help you physically and mentally are going to be huge right now. Super good call. It, it, you know, it's a great, it's just such a great call. Yeah. The nutrition element, you know, if you look at the two biggest levers we have, you know, it's, it's our food, it's our nutrition and it's our movement. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to our, our own, our own health and our long, everything, but then also how we're just feeling our energy and our outlook and everything. I mean, those yeah. are the two biggest levers. And then, you know, you throw in sleep and some of this other stuff, but yeah. those are the two, two biggest deals. And so you're absolutely right. Like if you get the movement going on, 
like Saeed's talking about, and then like Lee is talking about, you get outside, you get some sun, you get some movement out there. And then you combo that with some, some good food and maybe dust off those cookbooks that just look good sitting <laughs> on the shelf that you've never cooked anything out of. I mean, Hey, I'm guilty <laughs> of that. Yeah, like, no, all absolutely. these cookbooks, like literally never cooked anything out of any of them. And it's like, let's cook something out of a cookbook, you know, or go on YouTube. You know, the other thing too, for people who are yeah. intimidated with cooking is like, you can get a world-class education on YouTube. Like, so you can find all kinds of super cool, easy to cook, fun, like from celebrity chefs, like a Jamie Oliver to local chef. You can find anything you want to find. You can find it on YouTube and you can get a step-by-step -step instruction on how to cook it. And it's surprisingly easy to make good food, taste good. Absolutely. Yeah. And even some of the restaurants that are around, I mean, obviously we want to continue to support a lot of the local restaurants because that's been really tough for them for the past couple months. And there's a lot of other great local restaurants that are around that aren't those fast food chains that have healthy food that you can go pick up for you and your family. So it's another easier option if you don't necessarily want to go towards cooking, but you can actually get some better nutrition in that way as well and support local business, which is huge right now. Yeah. McDonald's doesn't need your dollars. <laughs> Burger King doesn't need you. You know who needs them? Dicks. Okay. You want a healthy upgrade ah. to McDonald's? Go to Dicks. Healthy. I mean, yeah. I mean, hey, I, I'm not I'm not gonna lie, I did go to Dicks this past weekend. So I'm not gonna I, say I that love, I don't I love every Dicks. now and then, right? So, I mean so good. On. You gotta have some fun here and there. But no, I, overall though, just trying to get some good nutrition in was definitely my tip for people right now. So yeah, and if I can interject a little bit, um, with all the local farms in the area as well, there's a lot of free-range uh, grass-fed farms, whether that's chicken, um, eggs, pork, lamb, beef, et cetera. There's a lot of local farms, especially a little bit north of the city, um, that are they have full stock. They're still putting out meat. We'd love to support those people because they're ultimately putting out the best products for us, and I, they're going to be about the same price as what you get at QFC or Safeway. So even better quality. Yeah, definitely that's a great call. Yeah, that's Lee, huge. Lee, what's the best way to find somebody? Like, is, is that like a Google search away or like, is there, what do you recommend if somebody, because that's a great call, man. Like, how, yeah. how, how do you do that? With the, well, myself, like what I did a couple years ago as soon as I moved out here is I just went on Google. Um, you just do like a little organic meat search or like you look for co-ops or um, just um, farms that are USDA approved or organic. Um, all the places that I go, they have the FDA come out and they do, they'll do all the certification like pretty much like weekly. They'll, they'll be there when they do the butchering to make sure that they're humane, things of that sort. Um, so at the that would be the honestly probably the more complicated look about it is to look up FDA and like where they travel to. But um, there's a couple up north, especially in like the Arlington area. Um, some farms you have to buy like quarter cow or a half cow. Other ones you can just buy cuts of meat. Um, like the place that I go, you buy lamb shanks or you can get like cuts of beef, ground beef, eggs, etc. cetera. Um, and for me, it's to way cleaner food. It tastes way better and it's most of the time cheaper. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a great that's a great tip. And I, I for my tip, I'll just build on on kind of this whole food thing, um, and and also supporting the economy. And that is to go and buy yourself a sous vide cooker. Okay, a sous vide cooker is so cool and such a good thing. Everybody should have one. It's my okay. You should here's what you need to have. You need to have an Instapot. Everybody needs an Instapot. So if you don't have an Instapot, support the economy. Go buy an Instapot. And then they're like 80 bucks. And then you should get a sous vide cooker. You can get the Innovo sous vide cooker for like 80 bucks. Support the economy by the sous vide cooker. And then the third thing you should buy is an air fryer. Those three things, game changer. There you go. Game changer. We sous vide some filet mignons last night. Mm. Yes. They were so good. Sous vide. You put it in the sous vide. Get this little vacuum sealer kit off of Amazon. Sous vide these delit thick delicious fillets for like an hour and 40 minutes and then cast iron skillet in the oven at 500 pull it out high heat flame and pat the, the beef down hit it boom boom a little butter salt crispy crusty seared delicious tender juicy inside wow love that good love that yeah. it's my tip it's my tip those are the three things you should buy all right kicking it over to ashley Break it down for us. Give us your your updates, insights, and all the good news. Can you hear me? Am I muted? We can. I gotcha. We can't. You just sold me on that sous vide thing. Those it's, oh, it's sound so, bomb. It's Mouth so easy. watering over here. 
you could do pork loins, you can do pork chops, you can do, yeah, the, uh, any steak is going to be incredible in there. You can be crazy and do things like eggs and stuff. I don't know. Nice. I mean, you can do that if you want to do like cook your eggs for two hours, but. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Gonna, I mean, it is cool. I've had it before. It's really good. And you can also make, you can also make beeswax bourbon old fashions in a super cooker. <laughs> I'll share that on another episode. <laughs> Very good. Oh man. Well, my my quarantine tip for this week. Um, I, I'm gonna target more of our high schoolers and our college kids out there, especially our seniors. Um, my I have a brother who's a senior in college right now. Um, and he called me up yesterday, um, just really frustrated and very distraught. Um just kind of, he seemed like he had no direction, um, very overwhelmed. Um, obviously for, you know, some seniors out there, we're, they're still doing school. You still have um, deadlines to meet, assignments to turn in, um, and then uh, obviously no graduation. Um, and so, you know, I think it's, it's and, and especially coming from my brother's point of view, you know, it's easy to kind of get bogged down in all the things that you need to finish. Um, and it becomes even easier to ignore those, those feelings of frustration, um, uncertainty, feeling like you have no purpose because something, a huge milestone has been taken away from you. Um, and you try to find all these things to control, but really everything is, is, is out of your control. Um, and so I think it's really important, especially for our younger kids out there to really, you know, take into account those feelings, try not to shove them down. Um, I know it's easy to kind of distract yourself with other things um, and not address those feelings, but you know, there's, everybody's going through it and it's, it's tough. I, I, I definitely didn't graduate from high school or, or college during a pandemic. So I had that experience. Kids these days don't. Um, and that's, that's tough. Um, you don't know what's going to happen after school. You don't know, you know, if you can, am I going to go to college next year? Am I going to be able to dorm? Am I going to be able to, you know, have that, that freshman year or am I able, can I go live out my professional life after I graduate from college? And, and we don't know, and there are no answers, but at the very least you can, you know, feel those feelings, process them and just know that life goes on normalcy will come even though it won't be as normal as it was before covid um but know that you know you still have purpose um and if you have you know any any of our parents out there watching this webcast um be as supportive as you can um siblings out there too especially those of us who have been through it i know what it's like going through college especially at the end there and not wanting to close the chapter but at the same time wanting to close the chapter um and just not knowing how to navigate that um, that transition into adulthood is definitely, um, you know, muddy waters. Um, and so for college kids, high school kids, parents, siblings, um, watching this webcast, you know, just be as supportive as you can. Um, you know, I'll feel those feelings, process them, um, and know that you're not, you're not in it by yourself. There are people out there that can support you, um, family, friends, stay connected with your people. Um, people that you can trust, people that you can confide in. Um, I feel like that's going to be really helpful. Um, you know, and for those of you coming in the clinic, just know that you can talk to us as well. Um, but take care of yourselves and know that you have purpose, your life has meaning, and all of this will blow over soon enough. You're here. Yeah, those are some powerful words. Powerful words, Dr. Ashley, and powerful sentiment. And that is a particular group of people that I do feel it's just really, really tough uh, to be mm -hmm. on the precipice of that big change, that big transformation, that thing you've been working so hard for, that huge milestone, and and to have it just totally taken away uh, without any real answer to all the big right. questions. So I think your your advice there is spot on. Uh, process it and, and talk and connect and don't just bottle it up and don't just just miss it or pretend like it's not there like get it out uh, really yep. really powerful advice and a great 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 tip for all those parents out there who have kids in that place and for those kids themselves if they're on and listening 
Well, fantastic, guys. This wraps another absolutely awesome episode of the Corn Tips from the crew, uh, where we're sharing our best uh, ideas and insights and what we are personally ourselves doing uh, to stay mentally, emotionally, and physically uh, well during this time. And as always, if there's any way we can help you, the clinic is open. We are able to see uh, patients for all needs at this point and uh, know that we have a safe and, and protective environment for you to come in and get your treatments done and get taken care of. So we'd love to see you if you're out there and you need help. Yep. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Cool. Fantastic, guys. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of the day, and we'll see you next week on the show. Thank you. All right. Take care, everyone. Take care, everyone. <laughs>